All right, so CJ and I have been watching too much YouTube. Um, there's a guy on YouTube called Will Survives, and we've been watching him build a cabin out in New Mexico, way up in the mountains. And we decided, let's build a cabin out on this cliff. Um, so we're gonna try to dig into the ground and build a cabin on it. It is the day after Christmas and there is no snow. It's warm. It's gonna be warm for about a week. So we figure we have a week to try to build this um, so that we can dig in the ground where, while the ground is not frozen. So we're on our property. There's CJ. Here's our house back in that direction. And here's the hot tent. This is where we do fires and stuff outside. Right here, we're gonna build a cabin over this cliff. So here's the plan for now. Let me go down here. So you can kind of see a perspective as well of where CJ is. CJ, come stand at the top. See the dog way up there. We're gonna dig in. That's gonna be where the roof is. We're gonna dig in here, build like right here. We're gonna make it flat. So we need to build some sort of a retaining wall. We're literally doing it like we've seen off of this guy's channel. So retaining wall first so that we can build out, dig out a straight area. Let me come up here to where that's gonna be. All right, so this will be where the roof line is, probably an A-frame roof right here. Dig all of this out, put it right here and make this flat and build a retaining wall here. And Brindley normally doesn't come out because my parents have a little dog, but they are gone to Florida. So she gets to run around. She's normally in the backyard penced up. All right. That's the plan. We'll see where it goes from there. We have no clue. But we figured might as well, uh, might as well film it and see what happens. If you have followed my channel um, because of the pop-up camper, it's still over there. I haven't done anything with it in five months. We took the we took the front box off of it and then I never built anything on the front. So it's been sitting here for five months, probably in the best time to do something with it, um, but I haven't done anything with it. So this is how it's sitting right now. Got some plastic over the front because we ripped the box off so it's wide open. And we just haven't done anything with it. Let's see if this can track Brinley. Brinley, come here. Yeah. Gracie's all mad because Brinley's out. She's not. She's too big to fit under anywhere in the fence. Gracie, you want to come out too? You want to come and play? Come on. She's gone. All right, I filmed the majority of that in portrait mode. So let me film it in landscape mode. We are going to try to build a bushcraft cabin on the backside of our property because we've been watching too much YouTube, I'm watching a guy named Will Survives who went and did this in New Mexico. And so we're gonna try it and see what happens. All right, we have a shelf kind of dug out here. And we are going to 
build a retaining wall with pallets. So we'll see how this works. I'm gonna set this up and do a time lapse. Got a couple pallets up for the retaining wall. <laughs> See, just digging out, we're gonna put one more over here, and then we can start digging out all of this up here. Grace, you helping us dig by eating the wood? So, all of this right here. going to be dug down to there so that we can put a roof on this. We'll use this fireplace that's been out here for two years. This I put this thing up as a temporary thing because I thought it was cool. We built a hot tent, put a fireplace in it, and it has survived. It's just made out of a tarp. It's survived out here for two solid years. Little wood stove, some wood in this bucket, two chairs out here to hang out when it's super cold. When it's like negative 20, this thing gets to like 80 degrees. How'd it go? Good. So we've got the retaining wall. It's up there. Um, and now we're gonna dig out everything that we just took a leaf blower and got all the leaves off of where we're digging. So you can see this top section, we're gonna dig all that straight down. Um, kind of just how the imprint is. Dig that straight down all the way out, kind of flatten it out. The tops of those um, pallets are going to be where the ground comes up to. So we'll use all of this dirt and we'll push it all down there. Hopefully that retaining wall will hold. If not, we'll figure something out. My battery's almost dead, so I'm going to stop here. We're going to dig some and see what happens.
take a look at what we got so far. I had to take a break. Gung back is still going. So check this out. Look at that view. You can see it cool from all different sides. Check out from this side. Look how cool that's gonna be right there. So here's the front of it with that retaining wall to hold up all that dirt. It's holding pretty solid. Let's see if it lasts, but then we gotta dig into this. So we're gonna make this flat with a little bit of a slope out so when if it leaks or rains and drain out of it. So we just gotta dig that part out. That's where the cabin's going, inside of there. Let me get this view. Lost all of our daylight, so I turned these lights on to give us some light to clean the tools up. Let's go see what you can see. I think we time lapsed the majority of it. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see this at all. There you go. That way you can see some of what we did. Kind of straight down right there. We got a lot done. Yeah. You. <laughs> so we got we got a ton done uh first day so we were just both of us cj has watched um will survives for a while and if you don't know this is my middle son cj yo i've got three sons um this this one's cj and he's watched will survives for a while and then he told me he's told me multiple times to check it out and so i binge watched like half of his uh series of the new cabin that he's building and was like, yeah, we could so do that. We've talked about it off this cliff. Uh, anyway, this is my favorite spot on our property to where we can go out and kind of when the sun sets back here, looks gorgeous. Um, so we put this hot tent out here, uh, but this will be awesome. We got a lot done. So more coming, hopefully, even if this is all we do, it's still pretty cool. But I think, I think we'll do a lot more. Stay tuned.